I got a dirty little secret. Actually, two. Check it out. See these two tiles in my bathroom here? I purposely got them really dirty. They have been exposed to hairspray, Febreze spray. They've been exposed to perfume. And then I tracked my outside shoes all over it and let it sit for a month. Why? Because I have a hack that I'm going to test for you. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my Fab or Flop series where I scour the internet looking for organizing hacks, cleaning hacks, time management hacks, and I put them to the test to see if they are truly a fabulous idea or a flop of an idea. So today's episode is a cleaning hack. Now I came across this a couple months ago and it seems like it's going to be a game changer. Basically, it's creating a high-powered scrub brush using your drill and a little tiny dish scrubber that you can find for like 250 at any store. I originally saw this hack by Nifty on BuzzFeed. Now the reason this hack really caught my eye is because I hate scrubbing our tile floors. In our house we have a one-story very long house and the tiles go from the front door all the way through the living room, all the way through the kitchen, and all the way out past the family room. And then if that isn't enough, we get two side hallways that meet in a Jack and Jill bathroom. So there is a lot of tile to scrub and a lot of grout to scrub. So when I saw this that I could get a scrubber that was powered by a drill, I was on it. So basically what you need is your drill, a little scrubby brush, um, a bolt. They showed a bolt about this big. And when I got this, I thought it looked a little short and I didn't want it that close to the drill, especially if I was dealing with water. So I got like a five inch bolt so my drill won't be so close to the water. And uh, you're gonna need a little wrench and possibly a socket wrench too, if you use the bigger bolt like I got. So basically what you do is you pop this off and then you're supposed to be able to pull this thing off or unscrew it because in the nifty video, it just had this bottom part because you're gonna fit the bolt through the bottom here and then have it connect with the drill like this. Here's the thing. <laughs> First hitch of it is this screw apparently is too wide to go through here. Um, shouldn't be too hard to fix. I will just make the drill this a little wider. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect. Now with the screw, the size screw that they showed in the video, it would work if I could get this plastic off. And I suppose I could take a hammer or something and crack the plastic, but I really don't want to do that. And if you went to hook this up to the drill, you'd have it connected and you can't. So I'm going to switch it out with the bigger one that I got, which I'm glad I got the bigger one now. <laughs> I'm starting to learn doing these fabric flops. So we'll fit that through there. That's better. Now they say to put a washer over it and then put this back on. A few moments later. Okay, I'm gonna try using the needle nose pliers and the socket wrench to make sure it's really tight. Okay. Then you simply put that in there, tighten it up, and then, oh cool. Now let's go tackle that spot in my bathroom. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do my old fashioned way where I have to get these lovely gloves on. I've got my bucket of water with spick and span in it. Let's see which is easier to do. We're gonna actually time it also to see if this is a time-saving hack. It started out 
out really well, but suddenly the bolt came a little loose. You can see it wobbling. So I'm gonna go tighten it up and we'll try again. Okay, so here are the results. The first tile that I did with my old fashioned scotch Brite sponge took about a minute and eight seconds to clean. The one I did with the drill took 35 seconds. So as far as this drill brush hack goes, I give this a thumbs up. It does work. And it works actually in half the time it took me to scrub it by hand. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Poke that like button below. And if you find an organizing hack, a cleaning hack, or even a time-saving hack that you'd like me to give a try, leave the link to that hack in the comments below and I'll try it out for you. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button and become part of this organizing family. I'm Pam with Organizer AZ 911. Thanks for watching.